All right, and we are back with the finals. We got Clef the God, we got Shakobi, we got a barn burner here. It's looking like Shakobi's going to be getting the ball first. He actually threw me off with these Tennessee Titans jerseys. I have no idea why he has those on. <laughs> um, obviously, we know Clef is using a Seahawks Debbie. fan. Uh, yeah, I. And he's using his own account too, which is which, which is weird. Uh, obviously, W is is with Clef's account. Clef is using W's account. Eagles mm -hmm. fan, I understand that. No idea why Jacoby's using Tennessee Titans. It, it threw me off. But we got a great game coming up. One thousand dollars to the winner, and they will be carrying over the, that bounty to next week's Friday night football. What do you got? What do you got, Bugs? I, don't, I, I mean, I'm always going to root for the passer. So, I say. Also, honestly, I feel like Clef. I haven't seen as many games of mm -hmm. Shakobi's in this tournament, but I, I just I feel like Clef is probably the better player. So I'm leaning towards that as well. Uh oh, all right, good little. He was looking little, scary. Uh, <laughs> It was looking like it was about to be a big one right there on right off rip. Yeah, absolutely. And uh, it's it's good run defense from Clef. A lot of people are making sure that they get this secure tackler at the safety spot. And they're not jumping down right away. Mm -hmm. uh, they're not jumping down right away. Look, as you can see what Clef is doing right there, which is a good uh, RPO right there from uh, Shikobi. It seems like what Shikobi also does for his run defense is he takes the secure tackler and he does not shoot any gaps right away. He kind of like let him, he lets him linger a little bit. Mm -hmm. And then once all the blockers are kind of taken up, that's when he'll, he'll shoot. Uh, and he'll try and, and get a click off tackle with one of his secure Supreme tacklers so that they don't miss the tackle. Yeah. I mean, it's, he, he has those secure tackles out there and uh, right there on that last play, you saw Shazier made, the, he got a hold of him, made the tackle instantly. Um, Dion R in the chat asked, first time, how does this work? Stiff, give him a little background information on Friday Night Football. Friday Night Football? Well, this is Friday Night Football number 35. So you missed 35 fantastic installments of this Friday Night feature. So we have a tournament. Uh, 16 people enter the tournament, I believe it is. Um, and they all, they all play for $1,000. Winner takes all. All the top competitors, people who've been streaming, who've been playing competitively, people like Boogs, like me, like the people that you see out, out here today, uh, we all battle it out. Friday Night Football, sponsored by Grubhub, which has been a fantastic sponsor. Um, and, and we just like to put on a show for you guys. We want to showcase Madden into it, to its entirety. We want to get it out to the masses. That's what this tournament's for. It's for creating awareness. It's for uh, sponsoring one of the best deals, uh, Grubhub. Getting some food, giveaways, drops, all of the above. I mean, what else could you want, right? Oh, most definitely. And, I mean, I think oh. you guys should go ahead and use that discount code TOUCHDOWN on the Grubhub app and get $10 off your first order of $15 or more. Right now, Grubhub's been supporting the Madden community, so why not support them? So go ahead and download that app if you don't already have it. Use that discount code, man. It, like I said, Grubhub's been a huge part of the Madden community over the last – um, it's really been about a full year almost. Oh, we should have cut in real quick, but always oh, great to have that good run vision. Second and five here, Jacoby knocking at Clef's door right now. Let's we'll see what he goes with. Clef still coming out in that three-four bear style defense. Be careful for the, um, oh, nope, we can't do the RPO now. Chat, I feel like you guys are in a move for a Megatron. I feel like a Megatron will set this the stream off right now. I feel like that's what the people came and for. And he's going to get in for six. Jacoby, first score. Sorry about that, Bugs. Oh, you're good. Let's do it. Mega roll. I feel like it's, it's Mega roll time. I feel like that's what I'll the people came it. for. The people want Megatron. They want that guy right there. The guy wearing the jersey of the Kings of the North, the six foot five beast, fifty cap, free safety, not at wide receiver, free safety, eighty eight speed. Does he have a power up card? He will have a power up card, yes. All right. So you 
that's already right there. 90 speed, 90 plus speed. You're going to boost everything up. The cars are going to be ridiculous. What are you going to do? If you win this Megatron car, what are you going to do with them? You're going to use them? You're going to put them at safety, put them at cornerback? Me you personally, I'd probably put them at corner. Honestly, I'd probably put them at corner if I was using them. You got nice I'm either speed. using them or a corner. No, that's not an awful idea at all. Cornerback, not bad. He's got hit power. He's got 50. I'm actually trying to think. Can I put him on my salary cap team at corner? <laughs> nah, 50 cap is still a lot, though. Um, But yeah, you know he's going to get those animations. He's tall enough. And he's got the hit power, actually, to prove it as well. Yeah, exactly. Oh, imagine putting Lurker on Calvin Johnson. Oh, man, that that's, that may be my Lurker. Yeah. That you just might be the guy I lurk with. You, have to, you definitely have to use her. I like the handoff from Clef. I, I, th I think it's inside zone from uh, single back. Didn't really get a lot of yards, but I do like the handoff speed on that. It, when it comes to under center running, it's all about handoff speed. Which, which runs can get a quick handoff speed? Yeah, quick yeah, handoff exactly. speed really means less time for the defensive line to engage. Wow, almost threw an interception right there to Jacoby. Whoa! Unfortunate man, his Tillman didn't react. Yeah, I know that was really weird right there. I mean, his it looked like he. His Tillman was running down to react. I don't know mm -hmm. what happened there, or was he on him as a user? But he looked like he was running down to react, and he didn't touchdown right there. Oh boy, he just gave it up to him right after you throw a Stevie. You typically throw a touchdown afterwards. Yep, yeah, that's that's definitely it. First donuts, Niswa salad, delivering from over ninety five thousand restaurants nationwide. If you want it all. You can get it all. Grubhub. Restaurants you love delivered. And we are back. 7-7 seven, seven ball game. This is gonna be a this this is gonna be a trench battle. Uh, Two this people game, fighting it out. It's definitely gonna come down to I mean both of these guys are really good. Shakobi has proven this year that he's he's definitely balling out this year. I know I say that I think that Clef is a better player. However, that does not mean that Jacoby isn't a great player in his own right. He's been proven to be a, a formidable opponent in this year's Madden. He's been winning some Friday night footballs. He's been balling out consistently. And he's kind of just shredding that whole title of the Shafodi, the whole Shafodi title. He's trying to shred that. And he's been balling out. So, hey, more power to him. He's looking like he's ready to win this one tonight. We'll see what happens. Yep. We will. Third and one coming up for Shakobi. Definitely third and manageable. I, I don't th I don't think this 3-4 bears it right now. I I, I see what uh I see what Clef is doing. But I think Shakobi has a nice little counter. He's coming out and <clears throat> wing flex close and then audibling to wing flex. I think that's screwing up. Um I think that's screwing up Clef as he hits him in the backfield there. If you actually paid attention right there, he blitzed his cornerback. He had his cornerback blitzing, so that's when you kind of know someone's getting a little desperate in the run defensive uh, category. They start blitzing their cornerbacks. Mm -hmm. But it's actually it, it does it does do really good run D though. I mean, it's not like it's awful run D. Screaming off the edge, and he oh, he's not going to get it. Great defensive call. I, I thought for sure he was getting that first down there. Who was that corner? Is that Devin McCourty right there that made that tackle? Wow. Yeah, Devin McCourty does not have a good tackle either. He's not known for his tackle ability, but he just came up big. Oh, yeah. We're in the house of the Kings of the North as well. Shout out to the Kings of the North. <laughs> and my guy Jay himself in the chat said, what is dead may never die. So long live Shafodi. <laughs> <laughs> And shout out to Super Sente for winning the Megatron, and he claimed right away. He didn't waste any time. He claimed that card. But don't you worry. We still have another Megatron to give away. Don't you worry. We still have another one to give away. You guys just stay tuned. It'll be given away after this, the stream. 
That is correct. Oh, he's going to throw his Stevie on the drag. That's the second time I've seen Shikobi lurk a drag route. He did it against Ghost. He just did it again versus Clef. Pressure bursts pipes sometimes, man. When you take away that drag route, that's their... That's their what route is that? That's basically the reliable route that they just check down to. Yeah. Whenever something happens, when if no, nothing's open, he guards it. Yeah, most people go and guard the posts on mesh posts because they don't want to give up the uh, the bigger play. And right there. Oh, he fumbles! And Tillman's going to pick it up, and Tillman's going to take this to the house! Oh, wow. man! Just like Who, that. Wow, things change. Who's number 30? <laughs> Who's number 30? Um, number 30. 20. Dawkins. Dawkins with the hit. Back-to-back -back turnovers. One from Clef. Then Jacoby turns the ball over. Jacoby's turnover really wasn't all the way. It wasn't his fault. It, it's a fumble. You really can't all the way can control fumbles. Some fumbles you can control. That one was more of a, he, as soon as he handed the ball off, he got his stick right there. So. I don't necessarily blame Shakobi for that fumble. Yep, yeah, and that was a hitter though. Oh, it's definitely Dawkins a hitter. Dawkins is a hitter, and he's gonna get the and he's gonna get the holding call. That's why you put hitters on the field. You put these guys on the field. You put a Pat Tillman, a Pat Willis, a Brian Dawkins all on the field, just so that you can get plays like that. Like I said earlier today in the stream, you can't get the fluky if you don't put yourself in position for the fluke. So you have to put yourself in position by putting hitters out there so that you can possibly get it. I don't like that. You don't get the fluky unless you put the fluky players out there. <laughs> Once again, he tried to take his face off with Von Miller right there. <laughs> You have the corner out. Oh no, he guarded it. Very good defense. Great by defense right there by Clef. Oh wow! Great patience yeah. right there. Great patience by Jacoby to hold on to it, and not force it when he guarded it. And then as soon as he came off, and as soon as his receiver turned around and faced him, he threw it to him, delivered mm -hmm. the strike. Oh, almost good lurk by uh, by Clef. He saw he saw that we were out coming. Walkie, you want me to turn the playlist on on the Friday night football stream? Say no more. I'm about to turn it on right now. <laughs> Good user again by uh by Clef. He took away the one play touchdown. Mm-hmm. Yeah, he, he did a great one thing that you know that Clef is always gonna bring to the table is great user. He's going to run some high-powered offense. You know, he's a really good player. You know, he's going to always have great lurk and, and really kind of just confuse his opponents with his lurk. But he hasn't had many opportunities because Scobie's been doing a lot of running and then also doing a lot of check downs. He's going to get sacked right here. Fourth and long. I'm going to see a rare punt here from Shakobi. Gets it down to the 20-yard line, and Clef is going to go into his bunch. See what he can get accomplished here. That's the biggest difference between competitive Madden players and guys. Like, I, I play weekend league for the first time ever, and I have never played such professional punters in my life. Like, the way that guys was able to just drop me at the one-yard line <laughs> consistently and make me go on 99-yard drives, I was so impressed by that. And really, it's motivated me to get myself into practice mode and lab my punts because I'm not punting well, like that. Well, well, well first, let's, 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 let's dissect this. this is, we're talking about all pro here. So you get to see the arc. You get to see where, where it's being placed mm -hmm. for when, when they're putting the ball. So that's number one. All man, you don't get to see that. True. Number two is depending on the camera toggle, if they have camera toggle on or off, you can get that overhang uh, camera angle where you can literally see where your putt is going Right. depending on whether it's accurate or not. So don't give them too much credit, Bugs. Uh, 
Yeah, that, that, there's some truth to that. that. Yeah, there is some truth to that. And like Jay himself said in the chat, that's another one. Like playing squads, man, those guys are pro punters as well. Oh, like, yeah, yeah, yeah. Dude, yeah every time. time you're on the one-yard line, you can book it. <laughs> I don't care where they're punting. I don't care if it's a 99-yard punt. They're, they're putting you at the one-yard line if they can. Absolutely. You can't see it in Weekend League? I'm pretty sure you can, though. I, I've seen it. You see the arc? Oh, I'm good not sure. Sack by Shakobi. That's going to be the end of the first half. We got a seven-point lead. <laughs> By Clef the God. Oh, yeah. Yeah, guys are probably using Focus Kicker, stuff like that. Can you use, like, does Focus Kicker count towards your nope. defensive abilities? No, it doesn't. You get one special team's ability as well. Oh, okay. That's how you know I, o I only play salary cap where yeah. special teams doesn't matter. <laughs> I've only played salary cap and regs. Like I said, I played my first full weekend league last week. I mean, I played a game on weekend league before a game or two, but I've never actually played all the way through weekend league and experienced it that way. It was rough. I played with my salary cap team too, so that made it even more stressful. Told you. <laughs> oh, yeah, it made it. Honestly, I feel like I – now that I know what to expect, if I go back and play it again, I feel like I can get 20-plus wins easily. Like, fully locked in every single game. I don't try to cram all of them in one day. I, I feel like I can definitely get 20-plus wins. With your salary cap team? With the salary cap team. With the God team, I feel like I should go 25-0 and every time. There's always that couple, two games that you just get fluked out of your mind. Well, I always put myself in position for the fluke. That's, hence, I get the fluke. I don't get fluked. You see the difference? I see it. I see it here. Uh, Let's see what I got Clef the God wins. can cook up on third down. Third and three here. Looks like he's got a little baby hitch, I think. Wow, yeah, there it is. A little baby hitch. I like it. Ooh, Huge hit stick right there. <clears throat> I know I called it. He didn't get over nineteen wins. It was under seventeen. I, I knew it. Yeah. I, I listen. I know. I know what. I, I know did myself. get cheated in a few games. You know. Oh, that was, <laughs> you get cheated. You got cheated in a weekend league game. That's like saying that the water's <laughs> wet. <laughs> but it's all good. Like I said, I put myself in that position to get cheated. So, so I suffered the consequences. Yeah, absolutely. I mean, I thought it, I, I honestly thought you were going to do a lot worse when you lost to. Wait, what was it? What was the second guy you played? Twix bar or something oh, yeah. like that. <laughs> when you lost to that guy, I thought it was all over. Right now, defensively, Shakobi is blessing the house. Every play, he's he pretty is. much just yes, sending the is. dogs. Yeah, and he offensively, dogs. I mean, he's playing man, and he's he's changing the outside cornerback on the bunch side, putting him in the flat, putting a deep blue over <clears> the top <throat> of the bunch. And Clef is just sending everybody out every play. He's not trying to block it at all. He's just yeah. sending everybody out. Um, I'm definitely a fan of that approach, but I also think that you mix in – a max pro as well, like a quick snap max pro. And then also where a max pro where you take your time to actually, you know, ID and slide and do all the necessary protections yeah, to give yourself absolutely. some time and get I, a big I, play. I think that's what he did on that touchdown uh, with that post route. So I do think he's mixed it up a little bit. But what we've seen mainly out of this is him. Oh, boy, I thought he was going to get him in the backfield. Uh, but we this drive we mainly see him send all five routes out there, and it's really hard to stop a bunch when you start sending. Especially you got a rod too, so he's got that quick release. Exactly, so you can hold oh, on to the ball that split second longer. I'm waiting, I'm waiting for Jacoby to play hard flats out there. Um, yep, I'm not sure if too. he's scared to put. I'm, I'm not sure if he's scared to put hard flats out there because if if Clef blocks, 
and he has that corner out. I mean, that's that's a big gain. Um, also, what I'm surprised Jacoby, what Jacoby needs to do in the future, he needs to put some hitters at at cornerback, dude. You could give up that four four or five yard or even like two yard a flat route against mm-hmm. bunch any day of the week. You got a hitter there like Dawkins Tillman. I'll take that any day of the week, man. You're setting yourself up for a fumble. Exactly. Get those fours in the chat. Fourth quarter. Who's going to close this game? Who's going to win this game? Is it going to be Clef or is it going to be Shakobi? Which one of these guys is going to have a thousand dollar bounty on their head next week? I can't wait what? for that to see is somebody have Torrey a thousand dollar bounty on their head. Does this mean you have Tory Holt the running back position? Yes, he does. You just not noticing that? Yeah, I'm just not noticing that. Oh man. Why didn't you call that out? It'd been I mean, a good no observation. Wonder you, no wonder you've been sweet and madden for the last five years. I, I, he's got Tory Holt. No one how do you not? How do you not say that in, in the broadcast? How do you I not have say said it to anybody? You I said have that? said the fact that uh, he has a receiver at uh, did halfback. Did he say that there's a receiver at halfback? I need to see this. I did not hear that at all. I mean, yeah, I well, need to. Did he say that? We 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 know that your wife gets pretty mad at you for being unattentive. Those oh, bacon with the Twitch Prime sub. Positive. Get those sub pipes in the chat. Let's also get those sub pipes in the chat for, uh, I'm trying to, where's his name at? Oh, it won't even let me scroll up. Just keep those sub pipes in the chat for everybody's hit the sub. Big play here from Clef. He's coming out in that, is that, that's 146, right? No, 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 that's 34 still. He's going to hit that, that drag route again. He's going to set him up for a fourth and six here. Big play. You cannot hit that drag again. Cannot do it. He, if he goes into bunch, uh-oh. I don't know what he's doing. He's thinking about putting this ball away. He's going to go into the two-minute warning here. Uh, definitely take it to the two. I, 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 think you, I think you would think about closing the game out. You've held him to seven points. Why not? Just, I'm, for me, I'm going for this throw. I don't want to give him the ball back. I'm just gonna go. I'm gonna go ahead and trust in myself, my my own ability to go ahead and cook up a dot, max protect, slide you protect. You know he's sending everybody. You know he's sending everybody I mean, again. Look, that's if why you, you for, if he sends everyone, mm-hmm. if he sends seven, you should be able to pick it up. Here we go. Let's see. Oh, I think he's got it. I think he's got it. I think that's a good punt. I think that's in between the 10. I think that that might be a one yarder. Woo! Great punt by Clef. Were you on the Friday Night Football when uh, the opponent put backspin on the ball? I didn't even know you could put backspin on a punt. Yeah. <laughs> oh, no. I. You said, did I know that you could, or you were saying? Well, like, I was on a, a Friday Night Football oh, broadcast, yeah. and one of the people put a, a backwards. B- Backspinning punt on it. I did not know you could do that. Wow. Uh-oh, that's game. Wow, that's, that's going to be it. That's going to be it. Shakobi's uh, still got three timeouts left, but that is going to be a dagger right there. Wow. Two with the defensive inter- touchdowns right there. Two huge defensive touchdowns by Clef to essentially win the game. He, he's had two of them. Both by that. Pick- yeah, two touchdowns by Pat Tillman. You know, Pat Tillman has really been the GOAT on Twitter. A lot of guys give, you know, sing his praises and talk about how he's the greatest thing since sliced bread, causes fumbles, gets pick sixes, gets fumble recoveries. He's just he's just the Swiss Army knife. Yeah. And I mean rightfully so. I mean he's the mutt master. You want your mutt master to feel like he's a good player, right? <laughs> Yeah, I definitely agree with that assessment. I, I, you know, the car that's you know free and that everyone can get. You know, the fact that he's the best card in the game. He's screaming at him now. Is that a ten cap card right there? I do not know. Good question. I do not know. Yeah, definitely go. Go and grind that mutt master. Get your Pat Tillman. Pat Tillman definitely he's definitely a game changer. Makes plays. Does everything you want. He reacts to the ball in the air. He he's really just you can put him anywhere on the field. You can put him at linebacker, put him at safety, cornerback. He's just gonna make plays all over the field. And 
really he's a must have on the team, especially for a full mutt team. Wonder what Dawkins that is. I well, would love to know. You can get the safety here. Shikobi still has all three timeouts, so. This game is looking like it's a wrap, chat. Oh, He's up 23-7. The chances of him pulling this one out, if if I'm Clef, I nailed the ball three straight times, punt it off. But looking like Shikobi's going to go ahead and tap right now and not waste any time. <laughs> 